Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. I've loaded up a game here called Home Pong 1988 by C. Kugler. German. And uh, let me toss it over to the browser here. I was just reading about this. It was a type-in for Home Computer Active Magazine, uh, apparently. Christoph Kugler. And um, Christoph himself has uh, written a little thing here, which I'm going to have to lean in to read or sit way back, one of the two. Uh, uh, that's not too bad. So uh, he explains, this ping pong game can be played alone. The name was not influenced by the Atari console with the same name, which was sold in the 70s. It was just a pong game made for home, which home computer active magazine, pardon me, HCA. Unlike, sorry, like some other games I made that time, I created it for myself and then decided to publish it in the magazine. I wanted to play a ping pong game without having to find another player. So I guess the name was really about ping pong, not computer pong, which of course computer pong was named after ping pong. So there you go. Uh, I wanted, uh, Later in my life I got diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, a mild form of autism. In single player mode the balls collect points as long as it is in play and the goal is to keep it in the game as long as possible. The other obstacles flying around are influenced by Arcani Arkanoid, of course. The smiley is a reference to Acid House music. <laughs> it's, it is cool to see someone still cares for this old programs. I don't know why they don't have a year in this uh, in this information sheet because it literally says 1988 on the screen that they've got there, but also the developer Chris Kugler's on the screen there. So, oh wait a minute, programmer. Yeah, okay, I guess there wasn't a developer. Publisher being Home Computer Magazine, and um, that is that, my friends. So let me uh, get back to where I might be able to play the game. Adjust myself on the screen and <clears throat> option <laughs> one player uh, select level okay one through four to our 800 XL forever start home po oh what are we oh no okay oh you control both sides at the same time okay Interesting. Not sure what the zero is about. Oh, and of course you have to you have to reverse your brain to control the, the right hand side. Uh, I don't know what. I sorry. I, my German is extremely limited. So, uh, whoops. I was concentrating on the other bouncy thing instead of the smiley face. <laughs> there we go. Bunk. We can just go back and forth like this forever? Probably not. Oh, dang it, not when I do that. I can't Ah bum. Good luck. Is this my extra is this my last player? It might be. Well, this is okay. I mean, <clears throat> the the background diagonal scrolling is uh, is a bit much. Uh, it's a joystick symbol. <clears throat> I've just noticed, or something that slightly resembles what? Slightly resembles a joystick. Oh, now it's squares. Okay, so that changes obviously. Uh, there, where it's moving more slowly, it is a lot less off-putting. So I presume you maybe get points for... Oh, did I start again? I think... Oh, I started a new... Crap. I think I started a new game. Damn it. Okay, I have zero points. Oh. Last chance. What? Do your, your points go down to zero when you lose the ball? Oh, the points at the... Oh, this is like... Oh, okay, okay. I'm, ram I'm blithering on here. Extra. Last chance. That much I can read. Uh... So my total points, I think my points for this round are at the top, and my total points are at the bottom. And the level is, I'm going to assume, the still level zero. Uh, 
I'm not sure what, what's happening with the brown thing. If you get points for it or what. Oh, things just sped up. But I got 100 points on that, uh, on that round. Well, that's pretty cool. The graphics are nice. The background uh, scrolling is a neat effect. Or moving, I suppose. Not really scrolling. The moving background is a neat effect. When it appears, when it is, when it is uh, moving quickly, it is quite off-putting. Okay, and that was a result of me, me getting my brain confused about which, which way is up and down. So the left paddle is, uh, is what you would call normal, and the rever the right paddle is reversed. So you just have to kind of try to keep that in mind, I guess. Something happened there. I got a hundred points all of a sudden. I got another hundred points. Is it when you get? Is it maybe when you hit the? Hit the bo shit. When the, you hit the ball with the bonus object, maybe? Maybe? Not sure. Ah, crap. Whoa, whoa, Easter Ball. <laughs> yeah, good question. Excellent question. It turned black. I'm not sure why. <laughs> Whoa! Shoot! Shoot! Again! Whoa! Whoa! Is there? There! Ah! Oh, shit! Am I in the last? Or am I done? Can't tell how many uh, players I have. I certainly haven't been doing excellent. Although, well, I should say, I, 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 okay. Ah, crumbs. I've lost lots of players by missing the ball. Lots of players by missing the ball. Does take a little bit of getting used to this uh, up and down being opposite on the right hand side of the board. Just sped up, so that's. Ah, crap. Last chance. So the different power ups have different effects, or whatever. Yeah, it's when they hit the ball, it looks like. The, uh, they have different effects, and it puts different messages on the screen. And uh, let's the chance, I'm going to say, is my last player. Got quite a few players, which is probably a good, given that this is... Oh, fast, now. Home pong game over! That's all right. That's pretty. That's pretty good for a one-player pong game. That's decent. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there would be a better way to control that. If you had a spinner, you could rationalize it in your brain as sort of the, you know the left side being a circular control motion. That would make sense brain-wise. 487. All right, well, let's see if I cannot do better than that. Oh, why does it start? Why does it have to start on the side of your brain where you're not in the mode yet? As you can see, I'm frequently starting the wrong direction on the left-hand side. Das tot. Okay, I don't know. What happened there? Oh, bum. Some of the things are worth points, like quite a few points, but uh, I've seen, I've, I noticed some of the things, although I couldn't tell you what, were causing increments. Oh, what the hell? We're causing increments of 100, so now I've got two balls? Not really. C extra oh crap sped up B D whoa 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 Hilf I'm on fire uh, that's bad maybe I'm not sure doesn't seem to have be 
having any effect other than making the paddles look all smoky, fiery, maybe? Smoky, for sure. Oh, crap. Ooh, that is a... Oh, come on now. UFO. Oop, I lit Ah, crumbs. Moved out of the way. Looked like on purpose. Obviously, it wasn't mentally on purpose, but same effect. Ah, crap, again. Wrong direction. Wrong direction. Kristoff, you dirty rat. This, this is tough. I should possibly translate some of these uh, screen sayings on the screen so that I can understand what's what's being declared here. Where's the ball? I thought I was in the right place for the ball. Oh, the skull makes you die. Well, that's uh, that's that's a bit painful. And I'm going to say uncalled for. Well, come now, that was a little bit of bad luck. Oh, 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 oh. Redirecting the ball. I don't know about that, man. All right. Well, that's a pretty fun game. Nice, Nicely done. Nicely programmed. Very smooth. Hard. But... Uh, that's really the only complaint I have about it, other than the maybe disorienting background movement. But, um, yeah, decent little game. Thank you, Mr. Kugler. Probably I'm not pronouncing that correctly, so my apologies. Um, right on. An interesting and probably somewhat obscure Atari 8-bit game, which I have now played. Um thanks you thanks you thanks yous for watching. Yous takes good care of yourselves as always, and I shall see you I shall see yous next time. Bye bye.